Hello people, hello people. This is Bio signing in once again from Spirit Runners UK YouTube channel. Today is the 9th of March, Monday the 9th of March. Hope you've had a good week, hope you've had a good weekend. You've gone out there to do some form of fitness, either running, brisk walking, hitting a treadmill in the gym or doing some exercise, form of exercise in your bedroom. Anyway people, keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. This YouTube podcast is going to be a continuation from the last one in which I covered injury prevention. So this is injury prevention too. In that podcast, I did say I was going to go into a bit more detail. I'm going to break down the different section. I'm going to go into a bit more detail so you can have more meat, more flesh, more flesh on the bones to be able to use. Now, injury prevention is so important because it will enable you to enjoy your fitness, fitness experience and for you to have you stay fit for longer now today i'm going to be talking about running shoes that was my first topic during the last podcast running shoes now you'll be surprised how running shoes can make a difference to um, your fitness uh, experience to, for you to be able to choose the proper running shoes the proper shoes for fitness you need to know what type of fit you've got now so i'm going to go into a bit more detail about the different types of fit now you've got three main different types of fit you've got people who have a normal arch People have a high arch and people who have low arch. Yes, people have a low arch. They're normally called people who have uh, flat foot, those who have a low arch. Now, to go into a bit more detail about the normal arch, what is a normal arch? How do you find out? There's something called a wet test, which is the best way to establish what type of fit you've got. And with a wet test, basically just means you put your foot in water and then you put it on a blank surface to see what type of footprint you come up with. That's one of the quickest ways to be able to find out what type of fit you've got. Now, so for the normal arch, how do you find out? For a normal arch, it means that you're a neutral runner and you'll have an eff is what they call an efficient running gift, which means things, your feet do what they're supposed to when you're running. We're all designed differently. God only God knows why I did that. He's God. I don't need to know the details. But I said, if you've got normal arch, you'll find that your footprint, when you do the wet test, where you put your feet in water and put it on a blank uh, piece of paper if your footprint will leave a thin band or gap between your forefoot that's a, the top part of your foot and the heel on the outside of your foot so you have a high arch a rigid arch and both of these types require a cushioned shoe so that when you're running you get enough cushion you get a bit of a bounce uh, which would it, would, it wouldn't hinder your natural pronation. It just allows your feet to do what it's supposed to do. It's just that it gives you that extra support, that bounce, that support that you require. So it's a soft landing, not a hard landing. So that would actually help you prevent injury because you know you've got the proper, you know what type of feet you've got and you know you've got the right shoes that will help those type of feet when you're running. So it's not about buying the top brand, it's about buying the right shoes for your type of fit. Go out right there and buy Nike or Adidas or Puma or whatever, or, you know, or, or the other shoes, New Balance, and think that you've got the right shoes because you're, you're, you've got expensive pair. No, if you don't get the right shoes for your fit, you're, you're, you could be messing up your, your, your knees and you could end up with a lot of injury. The next type of fit are called high arch fit. Yes, the high arch fit. This, for this type of fit, when you do the wet test, which is basically putting your foot in water and putting on a piece of, a blank piece of paper, on a blank surface, you'll find that um, just a small part of your heel and ball of your foot indicates uh, the, the high arch and will show on the piece of paper. So all you see is the small part of your heel and the ball of your foot. And if you see that, it means that you have a high arch. And, and you, and basically your toes barely touch the ground. So motion causes shock to be absorbed mostly by the heel and the ball of the foot, which can lead to a repetitive stress issues like heel pain, plantar fasciitis, arch pain, metascalagia, and cloth clotters. High arches can lead to supination, which with a forefoot resembling a C shape, showing most weight put on the outside edge of the foot. Now, if you imagine if you're running with that, you end up with injury on the outside part of your foot. And that could transfer to upper parts of your legs, your joints, 
your you know your calves and everything so you see that's why it's so important to get the right uh, pair of running shoes because you can avoid that now the last type of fit i'm going to talk about are the low arch fit now low arch fit uh my type of fit you know that's all my fit are uh, do the wet test again put your feet in water and then put it on a blank piece of paper guess what you'll see you see the full shape of your fit in that piece of paper now when you see that you know you've got flat feet and it means the whole your whole foot shows up there and, uh, and your pronation when you're running you pronate inwards which means your foot shifts inwards when you're running so it doesn't stay steady it shifts inwards because it's, there's an imbalance there because of the way your feet are designed now to reduce this problem you need stability shoes stability shoe shoes can actually reduce the stress and can actually help your feet to pronate properly to move properly when you're running to stay in the right uh, 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 form so you get shoes that will give you support and that will give you stability now, those type of feet can normally cause stress or inflamed plantar fasciitis, pain, other pains and problems on the knee, like I had my right knee, um, and uh, cause a lot of discomfort for you. So if you can avoid this by getting the right, knowing the right type of feet and getting the right type of shoes, you won't have these problems. Now, to just share my own experience, for years I run about 20 something years and I found out I kept having these problems with my right knee. And I went to the doctor, kept giving me painkillers, and I just got fed up with pain. I said, I don't want painkillers. I need to know what's going on. So I went for an x-ray, and then from an x-ray, I went to see the physiotherapist, and he then said, bring my running shoes. So I took my running shoes in to him. He saw my running shoes. I started laughing, and I thought, okay, why is he laughing? This isn't funny. I'm in pain. You know, that's why I've come to see you. He says, these shoes are useless. They will not give you any form of support because you've got flat feet. That was how I started my research and found out all the different types of food and I started buying the proper running shoes, support shoes uh, and stability shoes that would ensure that my feet are doing what they're supposed to do when they're running, not moving out of sync or moving out of shape. I hope you found this uh, YouTube um, podcast quite informative. I'm going to be posting more stuff on my uh facebook page which is spirit runners uk one word spirit runners uk and i'm also going to be posting some on youtube as well so you can find the link to spotshoes.com spotshoes.com where they tell you more about uh, the different types of feet and they actually provide links on how you can actually go and find the right shoes so you they'll tell you the different type of feet and then you click on the link and it takes you to the right shoes that you need for your type of fit anyway people stay motivated well, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. I'm not as expecting you to depend on yourself. I'm expecting you to depend on God. Because when you depend on God, even when you don't feel like doing it, you are enabled to do it because the Holy Spirit, who is your personal helper, will enable you and help you to be able to get out there and run or do the form of fitness that you choose to do. Either brisk walking, skipping, or hitting the treadmill. You can do it if you trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Don't depend on yourself. I'm not asking you to depend on yourself here. My motivation comes from God. There are many times I don't feel like running like when i did my 17.57 miles during the weekend i i in fact i didn't feel like doing it but god enabled me and the holy spirit just kept encouraging me and i was able to do it so i'm the focus here is god god is your source and he will help you anyway people stay encouraged and have a wonderful week and catch you during my next podcast god bless you all and see you next week please don't forget to subscribe click on the like button and subscribe for those who subscribe and those who've been liking my videos i'm really grateful i'm really really grateful it makes all this worthwhile ask questions likes like the videos send me emails give me feedback so i can cover more topics or more areas that you might be interested in anyway take care god bless you and have a good week bye this is bio signing in from spirit runners uk youtube channel today is the 7th of march i'm training for 2020 on the marathon for the whole world is through christ who strengthens me i would like to encourage you to the simple faith and also step out and try some form of fitness and the people's been an eventful run i've run just over 17 miles but it's all by the, by the grace of god and uh, you have a good day Bye.